Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Let me uh, thank you and Ranking Member Mack again for convening this very uh, important hearing also to create um, the legislation, at least to create the Western Hemisphere Drug Policy Commission, which does represent the sort of uh, forward thinking that is necessary to addressing uh, this vicious spread of illicit drug use and narco trafficking, which continues, and increasingly so, unfortunately, to devastate families and communities both at home and abroad. I'd also just like to welcome our uh, witnesses this afternoon and thank them for your uh, valuable testimonies. By uh, any honest assessment, U.S. drug policy over the past 30 years has failed. Although we have spent trillions upon trillions of dollars on counter-narcotics efforts in Latin America and in the Caribbean, the use of illicit drugs from cocaine to heroin has steadily risen, and of course, drug-related violence uh, has spiraled out of control. To top off this failure, United States drug policy has instigated vast collateral damage from human rights violations to social and political upheaval. The intentionality of this damage is uh, really uh, irrelevant. We know very well that the human costs of current policy, what they are at least, and we know that they are accept unacceptable. The underlying assumption of our efforts to counter the spread of narcotics is that the illicit drug use is harmful both to person and to society. Therefore, if our policies are not only failing to rein in drug use, but are themselves causing unacceptable harm to vulnerable individuals and communities, clearly it's time for this change. So I welcome the establishment of this commission to assess current drug policy and to offer a more effective way forward. I hope that it will not only examine the efficacy of our current policy, but also the underlying premises on which uh, this policy is based. Also, I'm especially uh, pleased that the bill voted out uh, today includes the Commission's duties, as the Commission's duties, an assessment of U.S. drug prevention and treatment programs and recommendations of policies aimed at both supply and demand for illicit drugs. Given the vastly disproportionate focus that U.S. drug policy has given to supply-side programs, I'm glad that both the subcommittee and the Obama administration as well intends to take an honest look at demand reduction programs which are crucial to improving policy effectiveness. I'm also pleased that the Commission's duties includes an assessment of the most effective experiences in the United States and throughout the world in treating uh, drug addicts and in reducing the damage caused by drug addiction and individuals and to society. Also, as I said earlier, the Commission, in carrying out its duties, must investigate comprehensively the best practices around the world that target uh, specifically and directly uh, the societal devastation caused by illicit drug markets and drug use from the spread of infectious diseases like HIV and AIDS to the surge of crime and violence. So thank you again. Mr. Chairman, I want to thank our ranking member because I think this is a, a major step in, in the right direction. All of our communities know um, and feel the impact of, of drug use, drug addiction, and uh, the narco trade. So this is, again, a very important bill. Thank you.